another issue has possibly lost a lot of nuance in common discussions in parlance, and that is the Amul Nandini controversy. I leave it open to you to share your thoughts on this. In India's scheme of things, every state has its own milk cooperatives. Karnataka's Nandini, whoever doesn't recognize it, even now as I've come, I've had Nandini's milk, I've had Nandini's curd, <laughs> Nandini's peda, the sweet. Well, of course, when I travel to Delhi, when I live in Delhi, I will buy Amul. I represent Karnataka. In Delhi, in the nearest outlet, if Nandini is not available, I think I'm mentally still not like a sannyasi to say, no, no, Nandini not available, even in Delhi, I will not drink milk. I still buy Amul. That's not being against Karnataka. But it is required that we support Karnataka's milk farmers. I call them that way because they have a, one cow, two cows. They take the milk, supply it to the Karnataka Milk Federation. Chilling units are kept and from there they are taken to you know, uh, pasteurize and then get pouched into containers. Every step will have to be taken and it has been taken. I'm not saying by one government. Of course, the credit goes to, I think, Sri Yadirupa Ji's government for having given the first time, for having for the first time given an additional amount for the milk being supplied by farmers. If it was being procured at 5 rupees per litre, he gave 2 more rupees and said, take 7 rupees. The government gave the farmer 2 more rupees. I think it was done sometime in 2002 or something like that. The credit goes to him. And after that, subsequent governments, I think Congress and JDS also gave 2 rupees increase, 2 became uh, 3, 3 became 4, 4 became whatever. Again, the current government increased it to 5 rupees, I think, the 5 rupees. If it is now being procured at 10 rupees per liter, 5 is being given by the government. The BJP government added this time and therefore it's reached 5 or whatever level. So support to milk giving farmers, animal husbandry people will have to continue and not just this per liter cost, something else may also get added. The farmers and animal husbandry people have also been given by the central government many other facilities like veterinary surgeon being available within a certain block funded by the central government. So he will be on call any time this farmer even with a single cow feels his cow is suffering, he needs help, the vet will come being paid by the central government. So the farmer will be given the protection of the veterinary surgeon coming. There are many other such steps. In fact, even somebody who just keeps a cow, who is not a farmer of any kind, gets a Kisan credit card under Prime Minister Modi. Even if he is just keeping a cow and he is not doing agriculture plus dairy, he still gets a Kisan credit card which means he's eligible to go to the banks and get some money and have better facility in getting his milk, you know, taken every day and then supplied and all that. So for the overall benefit of animal husbandry people, um, dairy people, central government is taking several steps. State government, as I said, is also taking steps. Strengthening Nandini and strengthening the dairy farmers of Karnataka has never been a question. It was, it will happen, it will continue to happen, it is happening now. And Nandani goes places. It is available in Kerala, it is available in Tamil Nadu, it is available in Telangana, it is available in Andhra, just like others are also available in Karnataka. Good competition, I would say. And strictly speaking, there are times I keep, there are my relatives who come from Tamil Nadu bring to Delhi, Arvind's Pal Kova. And I take Nandini's Pedas. 
There are times when, when I serve it at home in Delhi, they say, which is better? This or this? Both are so good. And why shouldn't the consumer benefit? Both are good, both can be served. So the idea is, therefore, to strengthen India in every aspect. Animal husbandry is a very critical aspect. And that's why India became the largest milk producer of the world. Because of these kind of steps being taken. And to falsely, therefore, suddenly come up and say, Oh my God, Amul is being brought to kill. Nandini is brazen. Amul entered Karnataka when there was a Congress government in Karnataka. And I'm not sure if I should name the chief minister at that time. Because the very same respected former chief minister is now questioning entry of Amul. It was in his time it entered. It was in his time it entered North Karnataka for marketing in those areas. So this, strictly speaking, is tweaked twisted and made an emotional issue for Karnataka only because it's electoral times. Will any one of us be able to say this morning I'll give my child no milk if for instance Nandini was not available in my neighborhood booth. Even if there are other brands, I'm not saying only Amul, you probably get Parag and Avin and Dodla and uh, heritage and everything else. Will you, will you say, no, I won't buy? You will buy. It's an essential daily necessity. So we will buy. But if Nandini is available, of course prioritize. Hey, it's ours. Pick it up. So instead of building healthy competition and a positive narrative, to twist it, and our farmers, our women, our... Uh, let us say, people who are in literally everyday necessity supplying, doctors, need not be brought into a political controversy. We don't need to make extra votes on that basis. You, me, he, she, everybody is committed to improve the lot of farmers, milk producers in Karnataka. We have to work together. They cannot be, oh, you, Oh, me. No, that's not the way. 